Praise God. Why do you strive against God? For he gives not account of any of his matters. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceives it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. He is chastened also with pain upon his bed and the multitude of his bones with strong pain so that his life abhorreth bread and his soul dainty meat. His flesh is consumed away and it cannot be seen and his bones that were not seen stick out. Yes, his soul draws near unto the grave and his life to the destroyers. If there be a messenger with him, an interpreter, one among a thousand, to show unto man his uprightness, then he is gracious unto him and says, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom or an atonement. His flesh shall be fresher than a child's, and he shall return to the days of his youth. He shall pray unto God, and he will be favorable unto him. And he shall see his face with joy, for he will render unto man his righteousness. He looks upon men, and if any say, I have sinned, and perverted that which was right, and it profits me nothing, he will deliver his soul from going into the pit and his life shall see the light. Lo, all these things works God oftentimes with men to bring back his soul from the pit, to be enlightened with the light of the living. Mark well, hearken unto him, hold your peace, and I will speak. If you have anything to say, answer me. Speak, for I will desire to justify you. If not, listen to me. Hold your peace, and I shall teach you wisdom. Shalom.